so today in accounts we'll be looking at the purchases day book so we have this example that we're going to use and the example reads the following transactions we obtained from the books of madame mwashi in the month of march 2008 so we have march 2008 so on the first of march credit purchases from rabban amounting to 150 kwacha purchases invoice number 001 then on the 2nd of march purchases invoice number of 008 bought goods on credit from christopher amounting to 34 kwacha then on the 20th of march purchases invoice number of 010 goods purchased on credit amounting to 500 kwacha from kabo on the 27th of march bought goods on credit from lazarus amounting to 230 kwacha purchases invoice number of 017 so you are required a to prepare a purchases day book from the following transactions and post to the personal accounts then b transfer the total to the purchases account in the general ledger so we are going to start by preparing the purchases day book and for us to prepare the purchases day book we know that the first thing that we must do is to write down the title so i've already written the title and the title is going to read madame Mwashi purchases day book for the month of march 2008 so that's the first thing that we're going to do and we know that the year the year that we are using it's uh 2008 so we're going to write down our 2008 then we also know that the currency that we are using is kwacha so in the invoice total there we're going to put our k and we're going to start with the first transaction in the first trans transaction occurred on the first of march credit purchases from rabban amounting to 150 kwacha purchases invoice number of 001 so we are going to say uh first march there our first march so we are going to say laban in laban there we know that the invoice number was zero zero one then in the folio there we are going to say pl which represents the purchases ledger so we have to record that in the purchases ledger then the amount was 150 kwacha let us look at the second transaction in the we have our second transaction there in the trades purchases invoice number of 008 bought goods on credit from christopher amounting to 34 kwacha so we are going to say on the second of march there uh, in our details column we are going to say christopher so we have christopher there and the invoice number is 008 in our folio we are going to say pl the amount there is 34 kwacha so we are going to say 34 then on the 20th of march but then on the 20th of march purchases invoice number of 010 goods purchased on credit amounting to 500 kwacha from kabo so on the 20th of march so we we'll say 20th of march we we'll say gabu then the invoice number there it's zero one zero we we'll say our pl there the amount is 500 kwacha then our last transaction occurred on the 27th of march bought goods on credit from lazarus amounting to 230 kwacha purchases invoice number of 017 so we are going to say so we we'll say on the 27th of march there we we'll say lazarus in our details column then the invoice number we know that's 017 then we say our pl there and the amount is 230 
so there we can find the total credit purchases so we can see our total credit purchases and this is shown at the end of the month so we we'll say that first of March and that is recorded in the general ledger so we'll say GL there and to find the total credit purchases we're going to add our figures so we we'll say 150 plus 34 plus 500 quacha plus 230 quacha so the answer that we are having is 914 so that's our answer so that's how you can write down the these purchases the book where you have questions please ask so question a reads to prepare a purchases day book from the following transactions so we have already done that and post to the personal accounts so we are supposed to post to the personal accounts and we do that by writing down the purchases ledger and we know that when posting to the personal accounts of suppliers we are going to be crediting each and every supplier so that's the most important thing that you must take not so we're going to start with laban and we know that our year, year that's 2008 then we know that we have kwacha there we also have kwacha so each and every information we're going to be taking it from the purchases day book you can see that our first transaction that we have that occurred on the first of march and um the supplier that was involved is uh rabban there so we are going to say on the first of march there we'll say purchases and that amount is going to be credited so we're going to credit 150 so credit 150 so we'll go to the second transaction and the second transaction occurred on the second of march and the supplier there is christopher so i've already written down the account for christopher and the amount that is involved is 34 kwacha so let us record 34 kwacha as purchases so say 2008 we have our kwacha there we have our kwacha the transaction occurred on the second of march so we'll say purchases and that involved uh 34 kwacha let us go to the next transaction so the next transaction occurred on the 20th of march and the supplier there was gabo and the amount that was involved was 500 kwacha so let us record our 500 kwacha so there we can say 2008 kwacha there kwacha that occurred on the 20th of march so say purchases so credit purchases with 500 let us look at the next transaction so the next transaction occurred on the 27th of march and the supplier was lazarus and the amount that was involved was 230 so let us record that so say 2008 say kwacha there say kwacha then that occurred on the 27th and let us look at the figure or the amount so the amount that we are having is 230 so say 230 so we can go back to our purchases day book and we have to check if we have recorded each and every transaction so as you can see we have recorded each and every transaction that means that the next thing that we're supposed to do is to balance up each account so we are going to start with the account for laban and to balance up that account we have to find our balance carried down we also supposed to find our balance brought down we are supposed to find our total so to find the total there that means that we're going to record 150 on the debit side and 150 on the credit side and our balance carried down is going to be shown on the debit side there as 150 so the balance brought down is going to be shown on the credit side as 150 we can go to the next account so the next account is for that 
for Christopher. So for Christopher, we we'll do the same. We're supposed to find the balance and carry it down. We're supposed to find the balance. Pre down supposed to find the total so our total there that we're going to show on the debit side and on the credit side will be 34 so we have 34 there the balance carried down is going to be shown on the debit side as 34 then the balance spread down is going to be shown on the credit side as 34 then let us look at the next account so the next account that we are having is that for Gabu so for Gabu again we are going to find our balance carried down we'll find our balance spread down then we'll find our total so our total there it's 500 on the debit side and 500 on the credit side so to find the balance carried down uh, our balance carried down is going to be shown on the debit side as 500 and the balance spread down is going to be shown on the credit side as 500 then we're going to balance up the account for Lazarus so the account for Lazarus there we're going to find our total we're going to find our balance carried down we're going to find our balance put down so our total there we're going to show 230 on the debit side and 230 on the credit side our balance carried down is going to be shown on the debit side as 230 and the balance spread down is going to be shown on the credit side as 230 so that's how you can write down the personal accounts in the purchases ledger where you have questions please ask so let us look at the next part of the question so our question b reads transfer the total to the purchases account in the general ledger and we know that the principle when recording in the purchases ledger is that for each and every personal account for the supplier we are going to credit that account then in the purchases account in the general ledger we are going to debit the total credit purchases and that means that the double entry system is going to be made so the simple thing that we can say when recording in the purchases account in the general ledger is that you're going to debit the total credit purchases so we are supposed to record our total credit purchases in the purchases account and we know that that figure can be found in the purchases day book so make sure that everything that you have found in the purchases day book is correct and that is going to signify or that's going to imply that everything that's going to follow is also going to be collect so we know that our total credit purchases is 914 so let us record that so we have our general ledger there then we have the purchases account and we know that the year is 2008 the currency that we are using is zambian kwacha so we'll put our case there and we know that total credit uh, purchases is recorded at the end of the month so we'll say 31st of march and in our details column we're going to say total credit purchases so we'll say total credit purchases and our total credit purchases is 900 and 14 so there we can find our balance carried down we can find our total and we can find our balance brought down so the total there we're going to have 914 on the debit side and 914 on the credit side then the balance carried down is going to be shown on the credit side there as 914 then the balance spread down is going to be shown on the debit side as 914 so that's how you can answer that question on the purchases day book where you have questions please ask in the group so let us look at this example Agnes had the following transaction in her business in the month of october for the year 2009 so we have october so the first transaction occurred on the 80th purchase five cases of plastics at 50 kwacha each on credit from elijah less five percent trade discount of purchases invoice of 444 then on the 15th purchased 200 kg of sugar at five 
100 kwacha pay 50 kg on credit from Savia less 25% trade discount of purchases invoice of 495. Then on the 19th, purchase 20 pins on credit from Kenny at 5 kwacha each of purchases invoice 500. Then on the 22nd, purchased 5 rows of white paper from Moses of purchases invoice of 505 at 10 kwacha each. Then on the 27th, purchased 15 boxes of tea bags from Davis at 15 kwacha each of purchases invoice of 550. Agnes paid 50 kwacha of cash and the remaining balance 20% trade discount. Then on the 30th, purchased 25 cases of sweets at 8 kwacha each on credit from Ignatius, half the amount she paid by cash of purchases invoice of 590. So you are required a, to prepare the purchases day book and post to the personal accounts in the purchases later. Then B, transfer the total to the purchases account in the general ledger. So we are going to start with A. And for us to prepare the purchases day book, we know that the first thing that we must do is to write down the title. So we are going to have the title and it's going to read Agnes purchases day book for the month of October for the year 2009. So that's the first thing that we are going to do. And since we have done that, we can write down our year there. We know that the year is 2009. Then we can put our quacha there to just signify the currency that we are having in the question. So we start with the first transaction. And the first transaction occurred on the 80th. So the first transaction reads, so our first transaction occurred on the 80th purchase five cases of plastics at 50 kwacha each on credit from elijah less five percent trade discount of purchases invoice of 444 so our first thing that we're going to do is to write down the date that occurred on the 80th of october there so in our details we know that the supplier was elijah so we are supposed to write down Elijah. So we'll say Elijah there. Then we'll say five cases of plastics at 50 kwacha each. So we're going to say five cases of plastics at 50 kwacha each and we know that uh, the invoice number there uh, the invoice number we are having 445 then in our folio there we're going to see our PL and to find uh, our amount there our amount that we are having we're going to say 5 cases they are multiplied by 50 kwacha so 5 multiplied by 50 we're going to have 250 and we know that there's a trade discount of 5% so we're going to say less 5% trade discount so less five percent trade discount so we're going to say five percent of 250 and our answer is 12.5 so to find the invoice total there we're going to say 250 minus 12.5 our answer is going to be 237.5 so that's how you can record the first transaction let us look at the next transaction so the next transaction occurred on the 15th purchased 200 kg of sugar at 500 kwacha pay 50 kg on credit from Savia less 25 percent trade discount of sales invoice of 495 
so for us to find uh, the uh, total amount that is going to cost for uh, 200 kg we can say 200 divided by 50 and we know that our answer that we are having that's 4 so we can say 4 multiplied by uh, the 500 kwacha that means that we are going to have 2000 kwacha so that's how we are going to find our amount there so let us record that in the purchases day book so that occurred on the 15th of October so we can say the supplier there is Savior. Then the put, to put up the description, we can say uh, 200 kg of sugar at 500 kwacha per 50 kg. So to find the amount there, we can say 200 divided by 50, and we know that uh, 4. So we say 4 multiplied by our 500 kwacha. That means that the amount that we're going to have is 2,000. And we know that the invoice number, that's 495. So we have 495. Then we're going to see our PAO there. Then we know that there was a 25% trade discount so we are going to say less 25% trade discount so say 25% of 2000 kwacha and our answer is 500 kwacha so we we'll say 2000 minus 500 the answer is 15 or 1500 let us look at the next transaction so the next transaction occurred on the 19th purchased 20 pings on credit from Kenny at 5 uh, kwacha each of purchases invoice of 500 so let us record that so we know that that's on the 19th of October so we are going to write down the name of the supplier and we know that Kenny so to write down the description we can say 20 pins at 5 kwacha each so say 20 pins at 5 kwacha each so to find uh, the amount there I'm going to say 20 multiplied by 5 and the answer that I'm having is 100 since there is no entry discount that 100 is going to come direct here and we know that the invoice number there that's 500 so we are going to say 500 then there we are going to have PL let us look at the next transaction so the next transaction occurred on the 22nd of October purchased 5 rows of white paper from Moses of purchases invoice of 505 at 10 kwacha each so let us record that transaction so to record that transaction we are going to say 22nd of October and we are going to write down the name of the supplier that's Moses and our description there we can say 5 rows of white paper at 10 kwacha each so the description there is going to read 5 rows of white paper at 10 kwacha each and since we did not have any uh, trade discount that means that we're going to record that amount direct here so we're going to say 5 multiplied by 10 we're going to have 50 and we know that the invoice number the invoice number is 505 then we're going to say our PL then on the 27th purchased 15 boxes of tea bags from Davis at 15 kwacha each of purchases invoice of 550 Agnes paid 50 kwacha of cash and the remaining balance 20% trade discount so for us to answer this question the first thing that we're going to do we're going to say 15 multiplied by 15 so that we can find 
the amount there so 15 multiplied by 15 the answer we're going to have 225 and we know that there was cash sales of fifth quarter that means that we're supposed to subtract fifth quarter from 225 and the answer that we're going to have is 175 and we have been told that uh, the remaining amount which is 175 we have to charge a 20 percent trade discount so we're going to say 20 percent of 175 and our answer is going to be 35 that means we also need to subtract the 35 quarter from 175 quarter so the amount that we're going to record there as our final amount is going to be 140 so let us record that so that occurred on the 27th of October so the first thing that we're going to do is to write down the name of the supplier so we know that's Davis so to write down the description we're going to say 15 boxes of tea bags at 15 quacha each so we'll say 15 boxes of tea bags at 15 quacha each and to find the amount there we're going to say 15 multiplied by 15 and we're going to have 225 and we know that the invoice number there it's a uh, 550 and there we're going to see our PL and we have been told that Agnes had to pay uh, 50 kwacha as cash purchases so we can see from uh, the question there purchase 15 boxes of tea bags from Davis at 15 kwacha each of purchases invoice of 550 Agnes paid 50 kwacha of cash and the remaining balance 20 percent uh, trade discount so there we can say that less cash purchases and cash purchases of 50 kwacha and the answer that i'm having is 175 so the question proceeds so the question says agnes paid 50 kwacha of cash and the remaining balance 20 percent trade discount so we have to charge 20 percent of 175 so we are going to say less 20 percent trade discount so 20% of 175 we are having 35 quarter so there to find the total amount we're going to say 175 minus 35 quarter and we are having 140 so we're going to have 140 there let us look at the next transaction so the next transaction occurred on the 30th and it reads purchase 25 cases of sweets at 8 quarter each on credit from ignatius half the amount she paid by cash of purchases invoice of 590 so for us to find uh, this type of a transaction first of all we are, we are supposed to find our amount and find our amount we're going to say 25 multiplied by 8 and our answer we're going to have 200 and we have been told that Agnes had to pay half of that amount by cash so we have to subtract that amount and we know that half uh, the half amount of 200 quarter it's 100 so we're going to say 200 minus 100 and that means that we are supposed to record our 100 in the invoice total column so let us do that so the first thing that we're going to do is to write down the date so our date there we know that's on the 30th of october and we're supposed to write down the name of the supplier the supplier is ignatius so the supplier there is ignatius in the description we're going to say 25 cases of sweets at eight quarter per case so we know that our invoice number that's 590 so we're going to see our p over there so we're going to say 25 multiplied by 8 and we know we are having a 200 quarter and we have been told that uh, half of that amount was paid by cash so we can say less cash purchases and that amounted to 1 
100 question so to find uh, the amount that you're going to record there we're going to say 200 minus 100 and we're having 100 let us look at the question if we have more transactions so we don't have more transactions that means that we are done recording our transactions in the purchases the book the remaining thing that we're supposed to do is to find our total credit purchases so for us to find the total credit purchases we're going to add our figures so we're going to say 237.5 plus 1500 plus 100 plus 50 plus 140 plus 100 the answer that we're going to have 2127.5 so that's going to be our answer and we can say that's going to be total credit purchases total credit purchases our date is going to be shown on the 31st of october and we're going to put our general ledger there so that's how you can draw up uh the purchases their book for agnes where have questions please ask let us look at the second part of question a so the second part reads post the personal accounts in the purchases ledger so for us to record in the purchases ledger we have to write down uh, the names of the suppliers so the information will be getting it in the purchases the book so the first supplier there we have elijah and elijah as we can see the transaction occurred on the 80th of october and if we check in the purchases day book we don't have another transaction apart from that which occurred on the 80th and the amount that we're having is 237.5 so let us record that so the year is 2009 so we have our quacha there and we have our quacha so we're going to say uh, on the 80th of october in the details there we're going to say purchases and we know that in the purchases ledger each personal account of the supplier is supposed to be credited so we are going to say 237.5 and since this is the only transaction that occurred we can find our total there so we can balance it up so we can find our balance carried down in our balance period down so to find the total there we're going to have 237.5 on the debit side and 237.5 on the credit side um, the balance carried down is going to be shown on the debit side as 237.5 on the debit side in the balance brought down is going to be shown on the credit side as 237.5 let us look at the next information that we have in the purchases day book so the next supplier that we are having is savior and this is the only transaction that we had recorded in the purchases day book so the amount that we are having it's 1500 so let us show that amount 2009 we have our quacha there we have our quacha so uh, the date is 15th of october so say purchases so we are going to credit purchases by 1500 and since this is the only transaction that we had we can find our balance carried down we can find our total and we can find our balance brought down so our total there is going to be 1500 on the debit side and 1500 on the credit side our balance carried down is going to be on the debit side as 1500 in the balance spread down is going to be on the credit side as 1500 let us look at the next transaction so the next transaction occurred on the 19th of october and the supplier is kenny and since that is the only transaction for kenny that means that we only have one transaction for kenny and the amount there it's 100 kwacha so let us record that so put our kwacha there kwacha the years 2009 the date there is 19th of october we we'll say purchases in the amount there it's 
100 kwacha and since we only had one transaction for Kenny that means that we can balance up this account so the total there we're going to have 100 on the debit side and 100 on the credit side the balance carried down there is going to be shown on the debit side as 100 and the balance brought down is going to be shown on the credit side as 100 let us look at the next transaction so the next transaction occurred on the 22nd of october and the supplier was moses and we only have one transaction for moses and the amount there is 50 kwacha so let us record that so the year there is 2009 we'll say kwacha kwacha uh the date is 22nd of october we'll say purchases the amount there we have seen it's 50 kwacha so we can find our balance credit down balance break down and our total so our total there we're going to have 50 kwacha on the debit side and 50 kwacha on the credit side the balance carried down is going to be shown on the debit side as 50 kwacha the balance uh, breakdown is going to be shown on the grid side as 50 kwacha. Let us look at the next transaction. So the next supplier that we are having is Davis and the amount there as you can see it's 140 and since we only had one transaction for Davis that means that we can balance up that account. So we can see our 2009 our kwacha there our kwacha and we know that the date is 27th of october now our details we're going to say purchases the amount we know that's 140 so we can find our balance carry it down we can find our total we can find our balance brought down so we're going to have 140 on the debit side and 140 on the credit side then the balance carried down there is going to be shown on the debit side as 140 the balance brought down is going to be shown on the credit side as 140 so let us look at the other transaction so the other transaction involved ignatius and the amount that we're having is 100 kwacha and it occurred on the 30th of october so let us record that transaction so we have 2009 we have kwacha there we have kwacha then the date 30th of october so we can see our purchases the amount is 100 kwacha so we can find our total there we can find our balance carried down we can find our balance brought down so the total there we're going to have uh, 100 on the debit side and 100 on the credit side the balance carried down is going to be shown on the debit side as 100 in the balance spread down is going to be shown on the credit side as 100 let us look at question b question b reads transfer the total to the purchases account in the general ledger so uh before we can write down the purchases account in the general ledger let us identify the total credit purchases so our total credit purchases that we had recorded in the purchases their book it's 2127.5 so we know that we have to record that in the purchases account in the general ledger so let us do that so we can say the year there is 2009 we have our kwacha there we have our kwacha so we're going to record our total credit purchases total credit purchases that will be recorded at the end of the month that is the first of october and we have to debit that amount so we know that's 2127.5 so we can find the balance carry it down we can find our total we can find the balance brought down so there our total there which means that we're going to have 2127.5 on the debit side 2127.5 on the credit side our balance credit down there is going to be shown on the credit side as 2127.5 on the credit side and the balance spread down is going to be shown as 2000 127.5 on the debit side that's how you can find the purchases the book we have questions please ask in the group thank you so this program will be brought to you by joswale if you want to get connected with me you can actually check out my social media platforms 
I'll meet you next time and peace and God bless.